Hi guys, it's Shelby from Learn Thai with Shelby. In this video, we are going to learn some Thai phrases that Thai people use when they are extremely angry, upset, or annoyed. The phrases that I'm about to tell you, you have to add anger added when saying them. I mean, you don't have to, but if you understand the meaning and how to use them properly, you will say them randomly without even noticing. More importantly, if you hear Thai people say them, you know what they meant and you know what to do next. Guan tin. Guan tin. This can be used when someone is teasing you in a playful way. The English translation would be you are such a tease. If what they do is bored to you a little bit more, now it becomes, are you pulling my leg? Or are you messing with me? Ya guan tin. Ya guan tin. Don't mess with me. Kun mai chai sun klang kong jakawan. Kun mai chai sun klang kong jakawan. Or you can say You are not the center of the universe. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's used exactly the same just like in English. You can say this to someone when they think they are better than everyone or when they act irrational. Personally, it's commonly used in an argument between a couple. You wouldn't use this with someone you don't know. It just doesn't feel right, doesn't sound right. So what do you want? When you are trying to make a deal or manage a problem that you are facing, but things don't seem to be going well. It's kind of like start a fight, like physical fight. If you're not listening to me, I'm going to punch you now. Yeah, something like that. Or it could mean, what exactly do you want? You are pissing me off. So it depends on the situation and context. A trick to figure out what it means is, this phrase is never be used in a positive way. Chang meng. Chang meng. Why do I have to smile when I say this? <laughs> it should be chang meng. Whatever. So you guys can see on the screen, I'm not going to say it. This is the most useful one because we use it all the time. Whether it means whatever or the F word, it depends on the context. For example, I heard your ex has a new girlfriend now. Chang Meng. Chang Meng. Fak Wai Gon Te. Fak Wai Gon Te. When you are having an argument or a physical fight with someone and you can't end it there due to whatever reason, Fak Wai Gon Te means I'll get revenge on you later for whatever you did to me today. I'll do the same to you or harm you even more. So watch out and be ready for that. So it's kind of like a small threat. That's enough. When you're sick of hearing someone criticizing you all the time, blaming you or call you names, it's not as strong as shut up. It's good to use it to end an argument whilst at the same time still showing some respect to the person. Literal meaning is don't your parents teach you. will be used when someone does something inappropriate or in a very bad manner, such as jumping queues, stealing a parking space, uh, smoking in a public area. It could be anything that you're not supposed to do, but you do it anywhere without a care. It's commonly used to elders to say this to someone younger but if you are old and you behave like i mentioned kids might say this to you if you don't respect them mong tamai or mong arai the same thing means what are you looking at these two have the same meaning when someone is staring at you in a weird way you can say this to them but remember it sounds like why the heck are you looking at me man mai chai 
มันไม่ใช่เรื่องของคุณ It's none of your business When we are angry we don't really say คุณ So the personal pronoun can be changed to แก or even มึง If you're not sure how to use pronouns correctly you can check out my video by clicking on the right corner แม่งเอ้ยแม่งเอ้ย you say แม่งเอ้ย when things are going to the opposite way that you want it to be or it could mean the f word when you want to kiss to someone when they act like a jerk and again it's rude people are rude anyway you don't have to worry because yeah we say it don't be naive we say it you say it I know alright the next one ไม่มีหูหรอไม่มีหูหรอ Don't you have ears? <laughs> That's the literal translation. It's commonly used by parents or teachers to say this to their kids when the kids don't listen what they say or don't do as the parents ask them to do. You can say this to your students when they are talking in class. แล้วไงแล้วไง So what? This expression can be used when you don't really care if the previous remark seems unimportant, uninteresting, or irrelevant. So what? So what? แล้วไงแฟนฉันโมเก่งมากแฟนฉันโมเก่งมากแล้วไงแล้วไง Or if you want to mess with the listener, you can add แล้วไงใครแคร์แล้วไงใครแคร์ So what? Who cares? Yeah. Sandan, sandan, sandan literally means inborn traits. Here it refers to bad ones. When someone has a very bad manner or treat someone poorly, they'll be called sandan, sandan. Just one word. Som nam na, som nam na, serves you right. That's what you get. So it's easy. Just use like in English. h o o p a h o o p a Shut up. It means shut up, and it's used like in English. อย่ามายุ่งอย่ามายุ่ง Leave me alone. Don't disturb me. This one has a similar meaning and uses like. มันไม่ใช่เรื่องของคุณ When someone trying to bother you by doing something or be involved with you about something, you can say อย่ามายุ่ง to tell them stay away from you or stay away from this situation. อย่าแม้แต่จะคิดอย่าแม้แต่จะคิด Don't you dare. Translated word by word would be Don't even think. When someone is about to do something or saying their stupid thoughts, you can say, "อย่าแม้แต่จะคิด to them." For example, ฉันจะลาออกฉันจะลาออก I'm going to quit my job. อย่าแม้แต่จะคิดอย่าแม้แต่จะคิด Don't you dare. The reason why the listener would say this is because you will be broke if you quit your job right now. อย่าเยอะ Yeah, yeah. There are two meanings of this. It could mean don't be hard to please, or don't overreact, don't exaggerate. You can make it softer by adding, ได้ไหมอย่าเยอะได้ไหม to make it become a question. อะไรวะอะไรวะ But when we speak it faster, รอเรือรสาว will become ลอลิงส์ and L สาว so it will sound like. อะไรวะ or sometimes even shorten to ไรวะ it means what the heck is going on when you're shocked or wonder how could this happen or when someone calls you and use อะไรวะ as a response but only if you are close friends to that person so don't use อะไรวะ with your boss otherwise it could lead to misunderstanding if you say อะไรวะ to a stranger it could mean what do you want from me like that what do you want from me บ้าหรือเปล่าบ้าหรือเปล่า are you crazy are you insane have you lost your mind it could be harsh or playful depending on your tone and 
facial expression all right that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm not gonna tell you to subscribe if you don't want to all right and yeah if you like it thumbs up thumbs down if you don't and let me know what can be improved besides the environment around me let me know which one is your favorite phrase and i'll see you in the next one bye